to my channel. I'm so excited because today I was really inspired to do a dramatic eye look that is affordable. So for the face, I didn't use very affordable products, but I gave you options as to the products that you could use that were affordable. The only reason why I didn't do that was because higher end face products do tend to last a little bit longer than drugstore do, and I have to go to a photo shoot right after this. Everything else that I use I tried to keep really affordable, like the eyeshadow palette and the eyeliner are both really affordable. I think that the glitter might be a little bit pricey and the highlighter that I used was a little bit pricey. Wait, and the lipstick that I used was a little bit pricey. Okay. Anyway, this might just be a mix of high-end and drugstore products. If you want me to do a look that just has makeup like for on a budget, really cheap, but good quality makeup, let me know. I would love to do that. I tried to do it with this, but I failed. I just ended up using like high-end products because they are in front of me. So I'm going to have to work on that. So today I'm going to be showing you guys how to do this really wearable makeup look. <laughs> Let's not get ourselves. If you're interested in how to get this makeup look, just keep watching. I haven't used my Cover Effects Natural Finish Oil Free Foundation in a really long time, so I'm gonna go in with that. This foundation looks so beautiful in pictures. Every time I take makeup shots in this foundation, I'm always like just shocked with how beautiful my skin ends up looking. It's pretty thick though. Just a warning. I think I want to keep this look extremely affordable though, so the only reason why I'm going in with the Cover FX foundation is because I have to take pictures later. If I were to just do this look and didn't have to take pictures later, I would totally go in with the L'Oreal True Match foundation. This one is Lumi. If you're oily, just go for the regular True Match. If you're dry, go for Lumi. And I'm going to be highlighting and concealing using the Lancome Anti-something long-lasting under eye concealer. I found out about this concealer because I was doing a more mature woman's makeup and everybody recommended this concealer and it's so good. It doesn't crease at all and it's waterproof and it's like, oh, I put a lot there. Ah. Okay, so when you do what I did, all you have to do is take a damp beauty blender. This is the one from Morphe. It's like $6 and just pat it out um, because it will soak up all of your excess product. A really key thing to remember when you are using a sponge is to pounce up and down. Do not swipe and pull like this because you will end up pulling off your foundation and your concealer completely and it will look so bad. I have done it before. I've been the culprit and I was wondering why sponges didn't work for me for so long and it's because I wasn't pouncing. I was more pulling. If you're trying to keep the face all drugstore as well and use affordable products, I would definitely recommend using the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Erase Dark Circle Concealer. Oh my god, I just spilled this all over. I'm going to set my under eye using the Ben Nye powder and banana. I haven't done like a yellow, like a stark yellow under eye in so long and I, I miss it. I used to love them. Does anybody else remember when that trend was like huge? Just yellow under eye. Okay, so I'm going to be doing my eyebrows using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz in Soft Brown, as always. I'm setting my brows with Anastasia Beverly Hills Clear Brow Gel. I don't really have any drugstore options for the brows, you guys. I'm so sorry. I haven't tried anything from the drugstore in terms of um, brows. Actually, that's not true. I just lied. I tried the Wet n Wild one. It's like a dollar. It was really, really good. I forgot. I tried that literally like eight months ago. I'm going to go in with MAC Gimme Sun. I know you guys are probably so tired of this bronzer, but... I like have been having bronzing problems right lately as I think I've related to you guys like I hate the brush that I'm using to bronze with I hate all the bronzing shades that I have like I just can't get it together in the bronzing department all the shades that I have I just realized they made me look like so dusty you know like they're so gray and I want more of like a sun-kissed looking tan and this one and um, my Makeup Forever bronzer are the only ones that do that for me. But the Makeup Forever bronzer doesn't blend out as nicely as the MAC one does. So, And I'm sloppy as shit. So I definitely need a bronzer that blends out well. Because then I'm just stuck looking like this. I'm just going to go back in and blend everything out. This is the Take Me To Brazil palette by BH Cosmetics. Super affordable. I think it's like $10 maybe 14. It's really pretty though. Look at this. Like literally every color you could ever possibly need in your life. 
this color right here is screaming my name and so is this like purple shade over here and that one down there okay so I'm gonna start off with that insanely insanely hot pink shade I'm gonna put it on my brush and go into the crease I'm going really high into this area of my eye. I don't even know what that is. Okay, I'm not one of those um, makeup artists that does the lash line last. Like, I just do it as I go. So, I am going to place this pink shade underneath my eyes. I am going to go in with this purple shade over the top. The Morphe brush I was just I was just using was the M551 brush. I've talked about it maybe 18 billion times. It's the best blending brush ever, and this is a little bit more tapered, and it's the M441 brush. Okay, now using a Morphe 433 brush, I am going to go in with this deeper purple shade and put it directly into the crease just to add more dimension and make it look more purpley because I didn't want it to look super pink. I definitely want to keep myself in the purple realm. Ooh, that looks good. This dark purple shade is giving me life. Yes. Ooh. I'm just squirting a little bit of the Makeup Forever Full Coverage Concealer on my hand and going in with just a little brush like this. This is the Morphe one six seven i'm going to take this across my entire eyelid i'm going to set that concealer with just a white shadow i'm using the one from the kat von d palette i'm going in now with color pops crybaby liquid liner this is their like lilac liner I have one last thing because I've been wanting to use this Ben Nye pigment for so long so I think I'm just going to go for it. I'm taking the RCMA No Color Trans... No Color Translucent. Uh, no Color Setting Powder. And I'm going to apply that directly under my eyelids because glitter fallout is like the worst thing on the face of the earth. Like. I'm taking the Too Faced Glitter Glue. Now I'm taking, my eyelids are sticky, my MAC, what are you, 242 brush, dipping it in the glitter and applying that. Holy shiz. Please, when I die, bury me in this glitter. Okay, I'm going to take a Morphe brush and try to brush off all the excess. I'm going to go in to the inner corners and highlight with um, Max Nylon. I am going to be contouring with Benefits Hula and my NARS Eater brush as usual. Is this too much if I go in with this shade? Nah. I'm going to go in with Milani's Baked Blush in the shade, what are you? Delizizo Pink. It's number 10. I'm going to put my brush in here like super lightly and then even tap off the excess. I'm going to go in with uh, Lena Lashes in Gigi. These are my favorite lashes and they're so fluffy. I shouldn't say my favorite. These are my favorite lashes in this category of lashes. They're super fluffy, super wearable, and short so that you can see everything, all the eye makeup work that you've done. Because, you know, sometimes they're really long eyelashes. They just hide it all and it's like, they look really great, but um, I want to show off the work that I just did. Okay, I'm going to go in with bottom lash mascara and I'm using the Rimmel Lash Accelerator for that. 
about this MAC Light Scapade, maybe? That looks like it might be better. Let's see. Ooh, yeah. Just putting the tops of the cheekbones. Wow, it looks so beautiful. Cool. I don't really ever use this highlighter either. It's like so perfect. On the nose, top of the lip, a bit on the chin, a little bit up here, a little bit everywhere. Kat Von D coming through. This is Requiem. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that this makeup tutorial really inspired you to step out of your comfort zone. Maybe just try something a little bit different. I feel like this summer was really all about the bright eyeliners and I finally got a chance to use one of mine. Um, I think that it looks so cool, like the lighter eyeliner against a darker shadow because you always see the reverse, right? Like a lighter shadow with a black wing liner and this is just it's so cool like I've never seen it on me before I've seen it on other makeup artists before and just loved it and I just think it's like the coolest thing in the world because it's just I'm not used to it you know don't forget to like comment and subscribe I will keep everything down in the description box down below a lot of times I will upload my YouTube videos and then I won't get to the description box until a couple days later because it's so much work when you're editing and then uploading and all of that so um, if it's not down there already it will be down there hang tight. If you have any specific questions, just leave it in the comments bar below so I can answer that as quickly as I possibly can. And then I will get to the description box after. If you want to follow me on all of my social medias, I will put them over here. Over here. <laughs> I am Tay Skull on Snapchat, Taylor Your Beauty on Instagram, and of course on YouTube, I am Tay Skills. I'm sure I've said it like three times in this video already, but thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!